Hi guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of do we love ourselves more in the digital world or the real world? I mean, if you really think about it, we live in an age where everybody pretty much is posting so many things everywhere on the interweb. And whenever you look at social media and you look at people and their lives, you always think, wow, they're just doing all these amazing things. And how's it possible? How are they... Uh, living uh, this life at a thousand percent but the thing is and what you need to understand is that well a lot of it is not really true hundred percent because depending on what direction you're filming something you're taking a picture in you can make any location look beautiful and depending on the angle that's being used you just can look flattering or unflattering so that's why they say flattering angle unflattering angle and that's why you see a lot of people like posting stuff from up top and doing strange poses with their their body and stuff like that and I feel that we have a lot of love for oneself on uh, social media because we create this sort of crazy lifestyle but then People are not really sometimes happy in their real life and what really matters in life is not the approval of other people the approval of what people think of who you are how you live your life but I think that you need to find approval for yourself and that self-love to be able to have a happy lifestyle that's why they say that for example couples who keep on uh, professing their love through the internet with pictures and lovey-dovey stuff and all that uh, are actually probably the couples that are the unhappiest because why would you need to be able to uh, have other people saying like oh how cute you are how good you guys look if you are just happy in real life there's no need for that approval of other people and it's same for like anybody really who basically is living their life and is sad or whatever it is but then they wear certain clothes and then they they go to certain places and make it look as if they're having the time of their life and it's that illusion that sometimes is sickening in some way because not everybody can be happy all the time not everybody can have all the best things in the world yet we're basically uh, as humankind as, as social media media has evolved become this sort of society that really really has become slave to wanting the approval of others and there's two different ways of doing it there's of course some people who are um, trying to create content and they're trying to uh, make a living off of that there's other people who are uh, sad and then there's other people who actually might even have some pretty cool experiences some pretty cool uh, things that are happening in their life so they they uh, they share it and they're just genuine about it and the latter is probably the best but I do think that whenever you post something whenever you do something you got to think about to yourself how do I want to portray myself and is it important for me to get the approval of the other people do I need all those likes or should I just like myself and be happy in my own life and I do think that if you're able to find a good balance because unfortunately I don't think it's gonna change it's probably actually gonna get worse and we're gonna have more and more stuff on the internet so um, since everybody is in this mood of having to post having to do things and including myself I'm vlogging right now um, you need to figure out if it's giving you a benefit if it's giving you a better life what is that worth to you putting those things and getting those likes from other people is it just taking time out of your life or is it just making you live a fake life of dreams and beauty on the internet or is it that you just like to share uh, cool artistic pictures and cool artistic funny videos and stuff like that because 
it's just fun for you to entertain. So depending on what your motive is, depending on how your mood is, you gotta figure out if you want to do this or not. But at the same time, if you are finding yourself being in this lifestyle where you have this happy face all the time on the internet, but then you're sad in your real world, well, that's where there's a problem. So that's where you're gonna need to shift that focus back to your life and make your life happy because whatever's on the internet is on the internet. It doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it's your life that is what actually does matter. So you better make it a good one since we only have one life. That's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.